Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It's Meditation Monday, and I have with me this morning a very special guest, and I'm sure you will all know who she is. It's the lovely Lavisa Alvton. So good morning, Lavisa. How are you? Good morning, Tim. Good morning, everyone. I'm I'm pretty good on this Monday morning. How are you, yeah. Tim? I'm healing. Healing, I think, uh, 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 and when you when I say those words, I am healing at the moment. A lot of people will be kind of at various stages of it themselves. There's been an incredible wave, wave after wave of energy that's come through this year. But um, as we both know, it's been a very physical year, and when the physical body catches up, when it does its processing, when it drops its density, quite often the re in the real in our real well this can manifest as a physical illness flu mm. light body upgrades whatever you want to call it so that's that's um moving into this fresh fresh shiny new week there's some very special energy about today or there is a very um there is almost a magnitude to today's date and we just touched mm. on very briefly before we went live levy so this is the last day of pluto in capricorn which is special and very significant we've been waiting for this <laughs> <laughs> it's it's you know we're we're gonna we're not gonna dive too deeply into the nuts and the bolts of this there's a lot of information out of there out there at the moment i've also covered it on friday but once Pluto moves from Capricorn into Aquarius we are going to be in a play area that is constructed very differently from the previous one and um, I'm absolutely overjoyed to be bringing through this meditation this morning that you've written Lavisa because it harmonizes so beautifully with what we need at mm. this moment in time. Yeah and you were saying healing I think of this whole autumn has been about healing for me and I'm still very much in that healing process I've been on sick leave as most of you know after an operation that went completely well wrong as we were saying Tim it, 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 south. It's been, like, constructed <laughs> for me in this way for for me to release so much and to have this space for like deep healing and mm. actually and I'm going through trauma therapy for something that happened 12 years ago when I lost my my firstborn daughters, twin girls. And uh, it kind of reappeared with what happened at the, the hospital. And I mm. was in complete, it was completely awful. And uh, um, the, the, the staff at the hospital were wondering like, what is going on here? Mm. And realizing I had this PTSD from 12 years ago and they said didn't you did no didn't anyone offer you trauma uh treatment back then and i never heard it's like when i never heard the word of trauma therapy no. so it's like a really no. deep healing process so i'm like writing the story and, and it's not i'm in a way reliving and the, the therapist is very much saying you know it's not happening again but mm. you have to really go into the details because subconsciously i've been blocking so much and, and I think many of us, many of you will recognize that over the last, I don't know, months, probably definitely last month, a lot has come up again. It could be, you know, to to trigger you and test you. And uh, it definitely it happened uh, last week again to me. Uh, stuff that's happened before. And I'm like, I can't believe this is happening again. And that's the 3D matrix stuff. <laughs> uh and uh, this time i was like no i'm not going to let it affect me this way and i'm going to I, i'm going to require to speak to your supervisor to your boss and to say like speak up for others who don't have the strength to do that when you're on mm. sick leave you know and uh because there's a, there's something wrong with the system mm. and uh so i'm i'm happy for standing up <laughs> you know like take a, a step out of that previous where you felt stuck in in something that's a really important point Louise, because i believe that if each and every one of us take just a 
regardless of how small or insignificant it might seem on the greater picture, when you take a step like that, when you claim that power, when you when you stand in your sovereignty, when you make that forward, even if it's one step, mm. one step forward in your personal healing, or, or to me, you've made like the most incredible movement within your personal healing, but to claim your sovereignty, to actually stand up for something that you believe is right, mm. one person can make an incredible difference to the field. So if we're all doing this, if we're all taking one step forward, if we're all focused on our personal healing, this is when the field begins to change its resonance to match what we're actually doing for ourselves. And again, you and I have covered this so many times. It all pertains to self-love. Mm. Self-love is the most important of the lessons on the Ascension pathway. It's the ultimate test of mastery because we can only love, we can only extend the depth of our love to others when we have plumbed those depths within ourselves when we've actually gone so deep within ourselves that we are seeing all of these things that we are exceptionally uncomfortable with when we've done the healing when we've gone through the processes and that's what this shadow season has all been about this is why all of these things have come up and they've repeated themselves in many cases like yeah. you, say, you know, like, what am I doing back here again? Well, you're revisiting it to clear that next layer. Mm. And then who's to say there might not be another one to visit at some other point. But when this energy shifts tomorrow, it's not going to be the sugary pill that a lot of people are hoping it's going to be. The work is going to continue. <clears throat> but the energy that we have around us will be far more supportive, enable for and enable us to move forwards rather than going backwards, retrograding, revisiting, churning through the old stuff, we're going to start actively seeing and feeling like we're making progress. Which mm. is yeah. And we were talking before we started recording here, because we are running an event on the 26th, you and I, Tim, and um, about this, the balance in between receiving and, uh, and giving love. Because when yeah. I was in the hospital, you were you sent a message on Facebook, you know, to set up a healing pool, which was so amazing. And I was thinking, I'm not really feeling so much. Mm -hmm. And that this is and in this process, I've realized I've blocked myself from receiving love and healing out of something that's been imposed again by the 3D matrix, where I felt I was unworthy, not enough, you know, not good enough. Um, yeah, blaming myself for different things. And, and this is a really big theme really because when you're not able to fully receive love you also can't give fully absolutely <laughs> yeah it's to me it's just the most it's the most important lesson of our time mm. it's um it's breaking the conditioning that we were born with and that we've experienced in previous lifetimes and that conditioning is such a uh, such a well-established part of our program as you know aspirants as light workers on the ascension pathway so mm -hmm. you know for all of you that are listening to this that are resonating with what lavisa is saying and the information that's coming through take some time to you know take stock with yourself congratulate yourself for where you have where you've made it to at this time we're about to step through a gateway that is we're, we're not going to see um, a, a movement of, a cos of of celestial energy of this magnitude again in our lifetimes. This oh. this generational planet, this shift it's moving into position to provide us with the tools that we need to work with effectively. It's not going to be done for us. It's just going to allow us. It's, we're, it's like opening a new toolbox and going, oh, my God, I never knew I needed that. Or now I have this available. Everything's going to become abundantly available to us, providing that we are giving ourselves the space and the means and with which to work. So mm -hmm. powerful times are upon us. And I'm feeling the, the the light in the in the image behind you, Tim. Really, this uh, golden um, the, the golden solar violet flame energy, which is about like instant transmutation and then yeah. creation codes. Really. Yeah. And, th and that we have, like you said, we have it at our fingertips. 
we than do. all of the, these resources and what we can do and really realizing more and more now what we really can do what the power that we have we do we yeah. do sometimes and it's just a case of losing the conditioning so that we can actually believe that wholeheartedly ourselves mm. simple yeah. when you talk about it isn't it yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I was sitting on my balcony at the beginning of the, my healing journey when I came back from the hospital and I was tuning in with the world tree and mm. that's really like these creation codes are flowing so so strongly and it's like pure creation and life force and um, suddenly I, I connected with the heart of the world tree and I didn't, that had never occurred to me that the world tree has a heart you know but that yeah. Energy was like, it's so um, amazing, and to receive and just rest in that love and feel all, all of those creation codes. So, we will let you connect in a little meditation here with it, and and it's yeah. coming through very much in in our event also on the twenty sixth more deeply. Twenty twenty sixth of November, seven p.m. UK time, eight p.m. European time. We're going to be diving into this on a much deeper level and it's mm. going to be a beautiful, powerful and healing event. And we'd very much like to invite you to come along with us. Mm. So this is a little taster and we're going to dive we, in now. We will be working with elements and they're coming in here as well in the meditation now. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and when, uh, and for, for me, when I work with the World Tree, there are different versions. So here's the Norse version, uh, and that is it's called Yggdrasil in, in the Norse uh, tradition, in the Nordic tradition. So Yggdrasil is the, the, world, the name of the world tree, Ash Yggdrasil. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, what are we doing with our cameras? Oh, I'm thinking I'm keeping it on. Or what, yeah, what keep it on. Keep it on. <laughs> or let's, otherwise, let's uh, back on it. do you want me to do a screen share or something? No, no, oh, no, no. Let's keep it on. Let's, let's, let's go raw dog on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you're ready for a short meditation, just uh, I'm going to grab a crystal. So you may want to do that too. Close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And with each breath, Feel how you land more and more in this moment. How your body relaxes and you center yourself in your heart as you prepare to let our voices guide you for a visit to the world tree Yggdrasil. Ai wunashau, ai wunashau, akasia noki ia so im waho. Aikiki o, aikinia, so imwa, so, so, so. The Norse goddess of love, Freya, now stands before you. She smiles and she holds out her hand, and you take it. As soon as your hand touches hers, you are transported instantaneously to the world tree, Ash Yggdrasil. Take a deep breath now. And you find yourself standing with Freya, right in front of its vast trunk, with its majestic crown high above you. You greet the tree by gently touching its bark, and placing your other hand over your heart. Take a couple of long, deep breaths as you acclimatize the energy in this most sacred place. Freya now sits down on the ground with her back against the trunk of Yggdrasil. And she invites you to do the same. As you do, Freya's two temple cats appear with you. And one of them immediately places itself in Freya's lap, while the other one comes up to you. And this cat wishes to support your healing process. 
So take a moment to connect with this gentle feline and let it lie down either beside you, at your feet, in your lap, wherever it wishes to go to hold the energy and help you anchor it into your bodies and fields now. Prayer lets you know that you will now receive support and healing here at the foot of the world tree from the four elements of earth, air, fire and water. So firstly, place your hands on the soft, firm ground beneath the roots of Yggdrasil. As you ask, you request the element of earth to balance you and bring you healing today. So sense how roots of light from your hands, as well as from your spine, begin to grow and anchor you into the earth on this sacred site. Just really take a few moments to feel these roots of light. Feel the earth beneath your hands, and the roots of light meet and merge with the roots of Yggdrasil itself, allowing you to feel more grounded than ever before as you connect with its vast root system. Taking deep breaths now as you allow the ground to fully balance your electromagnetic fields, so everything coming into alignment. As the element of earth brings you the balance and the healing that you so need in this very moment. Just breathe and relax as this process takes place. Why a kanai sukui a wam ho kuiki kuiki anam. And now fill your lungs with a fresh, fragrant air filled with life force and codes of creation here at the foot of the world tree. We ask, request the element of air to balance you and bring you healing today. With each in-breath, feel how the air connects you with a sense of freedom, vast openness, making you feel like a bird soaring high up in the sky and looking down at the world from bird's eye view. We we are so why we kia. And with each out breath, feel the oxygen, the pure life force and the creation codes of Yggdrasil spread out from your lungs into your bloodstream, where your beautiful heart pumps it out into all of your body, every single little part of it, regenerating, balancing and healing. Ohoikia noso wim ahe. Now continuing to breathe and relax. Feel the beloved sun shining upon your skin, upon your face with sparkling keys and codes of light, of joy and empowerment. Sora, Sora, Sora. As you breathe this in, as you receive, ask the element of fire to balance you and bring you healing today. Now feel the element of fire just moving through every cell of your body. Combination of the most sacred, soul-driven activations. Lighting up your DNA, the cells of your body, 
but most importantly, providing light, nourishment, sustenance and support for your nervous system that runs throughout your entire physical body. The nervous system that receives these codes long before your conscious mind acknowledges that. Feel the element of fire providing you with the support that you need to move forwards, even though you may feel sometimes that the going is tough. Providing you with the sustenance to take another step and then another. Breathe the element of fire into your lungs now. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just see these codes of light, the element of fire sparkling within every cell of your body. And now Freya smiles and she holds out a cup filled with water for you. And as you take it, you ask the element of water to balance you and bring you healing today. The water in this cup has been taken directly from the sacred well Mimir that springs from one of the roots of the world tree Yggdrasil. As you connect with it first through your hands, and then by taking a sip of it, you feel yourself immersed completely into the sacred well yourself, held from all sides like within the womb of a mother. This fresh, pure water filled with wisdom and love connects with the water within your body and brings you deep healing, regeneration and replenishment. Just rest for a few moments in this healing cocoon and take in any message that the water may have for you today. Ai wa 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 kokui. Ai wa no sowa. Ikiwa om. Beloved All Father Odin now stands before you and he is offering you his hand as he helps you stand up beside him. He smiles at you and you can see that he is examining your aura and he speaks. As you have now been blessed and balanced by all four elements, feel into the sensation that is held within all of your bodies and your fields. And Odin now indicates for you a marking in the bark of the world tree before you. You step forwards to examine it and you see that it is a sacred symbol, a bind room that literally pulsates with rose gold light. Odin invites you to place your hand upon it, while he and Freya come to stand on either side of you, holding space for you as you now connect with the sacred heart of the world tree Yggdrasil. So place your hand upon this rune now. Take a deep breath in and consciously ask to be connected to the heart of the world tree. And you may feel a rush of energy move out through the bark of the tree, into your hand, up through your arm and directly into your heart. Keep breathing long deep breaths as you accept the heart light from Yggdrasil into all that you are in this moment. Why we ia no koko i. 
so woko o na wo imse atu awa no ho awa so ko awa he na mi 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 ka woko a hen and the love connecting with you is immense it's so vibrant full of potential for growth expectation and joy open your heart fully to receive these energies and start to send your heart light back into the tree you are one heart one heart feel how you are one with all of creation through the heart of the world tree the heart of creation just rest in these energies now for a few moments receiving all the love and healing that you need at this time wo wo mama 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 a ko wo ie wa so o im a so a om you are now ready to begin to return back to your everyday life, bringing with you the blessing of the four elements and a deep sense of connection with the heart of the world tree, the heart of creation itself. And you thank Odin and Freya for their loving guidance and their support. They smile at you and let you know that you are very welcome back at any time into this most sacred of spaces. So feel yourself coming back now, back to wherever you are in the world, feel yourself landing in your body, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, just landing back, back, back now. Place your beautiful golden roots of light down into Mother Earth. Let her hold you as you step into this new week and to this new platform of energy. Say the word unify, 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 when you're yeah. ready. Open your eyes and smile. Thank you, Lavisa, for bringing that through. It was beautiful. It's really Thank beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Yeah, and Lavita and I will be back with more of this on the 26th of November, 7 p.m. UK time. Details will be underneath this video. And um, thank you, Lavita, for it's a it's a one hour event, like a it is. It's a power hour. Power hour. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> There'll be lots of power within the hour. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah looking forward to seeing you all there lots of love see lots you all soon wishing you a beautiful week bye for now bye bye